So apparently Jennifer Garner is over being Ben Affleck and JLo's marriage counselor, and who can blame her? Reports claim that Jen is tired of her ex-husband coming to her for advice about his troubled relationship with JLo, especially since it's bringing back bad memories of their own divorce. And it's not just Jen who's over it. Her fiancé John Miller is reportedly fed up with Jen Garner spending hours counseling her ex. The whole situation's caused tension in Jen's personal life, and to make matters worse, the super private mother of three is also dealing with the media scrutiny that her children are now facing because of Ben and JLo's high-profile reunion and divorce. Jen is finally putting her foot down and stepping away from the role of marriage counselor. But this leaves us with a lot of questions. Why did Jen change her mind about supporting the Benefer relationship? One juicy detail few people knew is that Jen Garner always felt like she was second to JLo all the years she was married to Ben. Buckle up as we delve into all the juicy details. In today's video, we're going to uncover why Jennifer Garner is stepping back from her role as an unofficial therapist to Benefer 2.0. We'll explore her relationship with Ben Affleck, the intense media scrutiny on their children, the complicated history between these three celebrities, and the pressure from Jen Garner's current fiancé. Stay tuned to catch every juicy and controversial detail. So, as we earlier mentioned, Jennifer Garner's reportedly done being Ben Affleck's marriage counselor. And honestly, who can blame her? I mean, can you imagine having to give your ex-husband and his current wife relationship advice, especially when he's dating someone like J.Lo? It must be exhausting. Now, according to reports, Jen is not only tired of the role of being their marriage counselor, but she's also feeling a bit betrayed by Ben. Sources close to the actress claim that she always felt like she was playing second fiddle to J.Lo all the years she was married to Ben. Even though Ben moved on with Jen Garner and started a family with her, he never really got over J.Lo. And when Benefer 2.0 kick-started, it brought back all those old feelings of insecurity for Jen. You might be wondering if Jen wasn't supportive of the Benefer reunion. Well, initially she was. When Ben first started dating J.Lo again, Jen was reportedly happy for them and even went out of her way to make sure their blended family dynamic worked. She wanted to ensure that their children were comfortable and that everyone got along fine. But as time went on, the reality of the situation started to sink in. And it didn't help that Ben and JLo's relationship was constantly in the spotlight, with every little detail being scrutinized by the media. Speaking on why Jen stopped being their marriage counselor at this critical moment when they needed her the most, a source told Daily Mail that Jen eventually got to a place where she was like, sorry, figure this out yourself. It was beginning to become too painful for her because it was bringing back so many memories of their divorce. Throughout their marriage, there were times when Jen felt like she was second to J.Lo even though there was no communication between her, J.Lo, and Ben for years. She was surprised at how public he became when they reunited because he was always a man who wanted to be out of the spotlight when they were married. The fact that Ben put up with intense media attention when he and J.Lo got back together is one thing that really shocked Jen Garner. Throughout their years together as a couple, Jen was very much aware of just how much Ben wanted to avoid the spotlight. Coincidentally, Jen also wanted the same thing. She received the shock of her life when Ben hooked up with someone else and didn't mind being the object of constant media attention. Ben's decision to sacrifice his desire for privacy on the altar of JLo's desire for publicity sent a message that must have really hurt Jen Garner. It simply showed that Ben really loved JLo much more than her. He loved JLo so much that he was willing to sacrifice his peace of mind and much sought after privacy just for her sake. Speaking of the media, let's talk about the impact all this attention has had on Jen and her family. As you probably already know, Jen is incredibly incredibly private and prefers to keep her personal life out of the spotlight. She's always been a fierce advocate of her children's privacy. Along with other celebrities, she played a key role in ensuring that California's anti-paparazzi bill was passed into law in 2013. The law is meant to protect the children of celebrities from being harassed by paps and other media in general. Jen believed that her kids deserved a normal childhood, free from the constant glare of the media. So, you can imagine how she must be feeling now that their children are being dragged into the Benefer 2.0 divorce saga. According to sources, she felt blindsided by the intense media scrutiny that came with Ben and JLo's reunion and their current divorce process. But it's not just the media. The public's obsession with Benefer is also taking a toll. Every move they make is analyzed and dissected, and unfortunately, Jen and her children have become collateral damage. Now, let's take a step back and talk about how we even got to this point. For those who need a refresher, let's go over the complicated history between Jen, Ben, and JLo. So, Ben and Jen met in the early 2000s when Ben was still engaged to JLo. Yes, you heard that right. Ben was previously engaged to JLo while Jen Garner was married to Scott Foley. Ben and Jen had met on the set of Pearl Harbor, and there were reports that they were a little too close on the set of the movie, but they couldn't do anything since they were both in a serious relationship. But Ben decided to break his engagement to JLo in 2004, and shortly after, Jen also ended her marriage to Scott Foley. Soon after, Ben started dating Jen Garner, and they got married in 2005. They seemed like the perfect Hollywood couple who had a good time away from the scrutiny of the media, but as we all know, 
know, their fairy tale ended in a messy divorce in 2015. They didn't want to get divorced. They didn't want to be a divorced person. I really didn't want to be uh, a split family. During their marriage, there were always rumors that Ben was still hung up on J-Lo, and it didn't help that J-Lo herself had some public relationships, including marrying Mark Anthony. So when Ben and Jen announced their divorce in June 2015, there were speculations that Ben's alleged infidelity with their house help and his closeness to J-Lo might have played a part. It's therefore easy to see why Jen might feel a bit insecure about the Benefer reunion. Fast forward to 2021, when Ben and J-Lo shocked the world by reuniting after almost 20 years apart. They were spotted together looking cozy, and the internet went wild. Soon after, they made their relationship official and got married in 2022. Everyone, including Jennifer Garner, was happy for them, but little did we know that behind the scenes, things were a lot more complicated. As we mentioned, Jen was initially supportive, but as time went on and the Benefer relationship became more and more toxic, she started to feel like she was being dragged into their messy relationship drama. As things got worse and worse, Ben was reportedly coming to her for advice, and it was bringing up all the painful memories of their own marriage and divorce. It was like reopening old wounds, and Jen couldn't take it anymore. The final straw came when John Miller, whom she is secretly engaged to, put his foot down. He was fed up with Jen's constant involvement in her ex-husband's life, and honestly, we don't blame him. John wanted to build a future with Jen, and he felt that her continued role as Ben's confidant was holding them back. John was supportive of Jen's desire to help Ben, but he believed that she needed to prioritize their relationship and set boundaries with her ex. Sources close to Jen revealed that she finally realized she couldn't continue being the mediator between Ben and J-Lo. It was emotionally draining and took a significant toll on her mental health. Jen decided it was time to focus on herself and her relationship with John. She wanted to create a peaceful and stable environment for her children, away from the chaos of Benefer 2.0. Speaking about John's frustration, a source disclosed that John is tired of weekends and holidays he could be spending with Jen being taken up by her therapy sessions with Ben. In an article through which Radar Online throws a jab at Ben by saying he's been snubbed by the two Jennifers in his life, a source is quoted as saying, Jen's always been a problem solver, but Ben's problems with Jen Jayla are beginning to cause tensions with John, and that's the last thing she wants. It's clear that Jen needs to set some boundaries and focus on her own happiness. She's been through a lot, and it's time for her to put herself first. And this was why Jen finally took the difficult decision of putting a stop to her marriage counseling side hustle. Jennifer Garner's done playing the mediator in Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's relationship. While Jen was initially supportive of their reunion, she's now stepping back from the role of marriage counselor, as she's had to focus on her happiness and privacy. The emotional toll, the strength on her relationship with John Miller, and the impact on her children led her to this decision. Jen is ready to focus on her own happiness and create a peaceful environment for her family. As for Ben and J-Lo, they'll have to navigate whatever's left of their relationship without Jen's guidance.